What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Envy Toys. Alright everybody, so like I promised you guys, um, I'm going to do a quick review, uh, unboxing, and talk a little bit about the figures that I received last night. The Amazon exclusive Venom 3 pack with Venom, Riot, and Agony. Uh, to start off, this box is really nice. Um, I really like how they left it nice and glossy. The colors aren't matte like some boxes um, end up coming out at the end. The artwork is beautiful. I love it. I love Venom. Um, one of my favorite, obviously one of my favorite anti-heroes. I love everything about this. In the back, you'll see that it comes with a brief description on each character and what the storyline is behind uh, each one of them. The side has a little bit more artwork. Obviously, if you're like me, you're a box collector. You like to keep stuff in the box. Um... And for sakes of this video, I will open it just to show you guys um, the figures and what's included in the box. But it does make a really nice display. So if you can keep it boxed, keep it boxed. Alright, so let's go ahead and check it out, alright? Okay, so let's go ahead and open up this bad boy. Now, I'm sure you guys have seen uh, Hasbro has been releasing their newer packaging. Even uh, even just their normal uh, figures. Here, let me go ahead and grab one. Um, so they're no longer doing the plastic in the front, the clear front, where you'll be able to see, where you would be able to see the figure when you were purchasing it. Now they are releasing this kind of packaging. I'm guessing they're trying to save. Uh, cost on you know putting plastic and cardboard together so this venom package is the exact same thing obviously they've moved forward with that so that's what we'll be seeing moving forward with a lot of the hasbro figures so let's go ahead and open this up Get this out of the way Alright, so this is how it comes. Like I said, there's no plastic. Now there's just cardboard. And the figures come in a nice, I want to say like a wax. Like a wax packaging. Like a little bag. I believe this is Venom. Go ahead and take this Venom out. Super, super nice. I can already tell that it's a very nice figure. A lot of detail has gone into it. Uh, one thing I am noticing that I'm not very fond of is these, you can see the little peg holes for the joints. I um, wish it, they weren't there, but it is what it is. Let me go ahead and try to stand this guy. I know he's new, so he's not as flexible, but he's not bad as far as um, the joints go there are other figures that the joints are really stiff and it is very hard to move them sometimes you might even feel like wow I don't want to try to move it because I feel like I'm gonna break it this the figure does not feel like that at all it feels stiff but it's not awfully stiff venom Love the design on the back. And I love the head sculpt. Real, real nice. That half, half Eddie Brock, half Venom transformation. Um, let's see what else comes in here. Let's 
does come with the fist. Fist hands. Obviously, on it comes with the claw hands. He's trying to choke the life out of somebody. And my favorite piece right here. All right. Love this set. Let's go ahead and swap this out real quick. Just to check this out. It's a little tight, but the tighter the better. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. There we go. Now we're talking Venom. So that's for Venom. Let's move on to our next figure, which is going to be Riot. Whoa, I love the color on this thing. This thing's really nice. Same thing, joints are nice and stiff, obviously not too crazy. Well, this one's really stiff. You can tell, look. Another thing that I like a lot about these newer figures is that they do come with the double joint at the knees. And this one, this one doesn't have the elbow, but I believe Venom does. Let me check it out. Yes, Venom does have the double joint. So one joint here, one joint up top. So you end up moving, essentially you end up moving the arm. And if you want to, you can move the elbow down as well from this top end. Unfortunately, this Riot character does not have a double joint. He just has a single joint. As you can see there. And he's missing something in the back. So we're going to check that out right now. But really nice figure. Love the color. The color really stands out to me. It really calls to my eyes. I think I can get him to stand. I think he's pretty stiff. But if you're like me and you like to take pictures and do photography. Then you do want a stiff figure. Just for the fact that you don't want to pose him. And then when you move away to try to take a picture, he's falling down. Alright. There we go. You can get him to stand up, man. There we go. Alright. We got him. Took me a little bit, but we got him. Move him to the side. Next up is... What is this? Just another head. Oh, another head for Agony. And extra fists. Got the fists for Agony. Nice. Oh, look at this. This other bag. does have that back piece to riot so this thing has to go clipped on here let's check this out okay. nope I can't move this looks like it just go yep popped in there just like that nothing else nothing else to it Something else in here as well. Oh, this is pretty gnarly. This actually has instead of a fist, he has like an axe. So I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that you pop the hand out. You insert. I don't know why sometimes these joints don't just like pop in. Like so hard to pop in. There you go. There you go. Now you got it. Pretty, pretty badass. Really gnarly. 
All right, so let's move back to Agony. It's our third figure. Let's take this out. I think someone stole her head. No, I think they just probably packaged it separately because of the long hair. Maybe they didn't want the head to be getting damaged. Come on, I don't want to break this. But I've been there, Danny. Alright, that one was really stiff. There she is. Really nice sculpt. I really like this one. I think especially because I hadn't I hadn't seen a a girl venom figure. At least not me personally. And he does have the double joint at the knees. So if you see, you can just bend one knee. Jesus, this one's really stiff. See, this is what I'm talking about with the stiff ones. Some of them are super, super stiff. Yeah, see, that's one joint here, the one that's bending, and then the other one, it's got the other bend up here at the top. All right, let me move all this stuff out of the way. So, there you have it. You got your Venom. You got your two fists. Your extra, extra head. Oh. You get Agony with normal hands. I really like the color too. It's not even like a it's pink and like a magenta or like a plum. Really, really nice. I really like that eyes too. Get your agony. It's real stiff. Again, comes with the two fists. And this monstrous thing right here is so awesome again i really really love what they did with the blue um i i can't recall ever reading too many of the venom comic books so i don't know what the original comic book color is but if they did it uh true to the comic book then i really love this color this is a real awesome color the head sculpt it's crazy too looks really good love the love the glossiness it's not too glossy it's not too matte i feel like um with some figures they're either way too glossy or way too matte this wasn't a, a perfect mix between the both really nice figures and of course this normal hand so there you have it. That is the Amazon exclusive three pack, Venom three pack. You can still catch it if um, uh, if you can see if you obviously if you have Amazon, you can get it off of Amazon. Not bad. I think I paid 70, 70 US dollars for it. Um, maybe with the holidays coming up, uh, it might be a little cheaper. But definitely keep an eye out for it. I would definitely snatch it because I know that after the holidays it might or might not be there. And then, you know, if it goes to eBay, then you better watch out for the scalpers. What else do you guys want to see? Oh, check this out. I got another one that I'm going to do. Um, I'll probably do that one tomorrow. Um, and then just in contrast and comparison uh, to a few Venoms. Let's do this is the retro. This is retro venom from the original. It's even got the little bottle thing in the back. 
This is like a water toy. You suck up the water, you put it in the back, and he squirt water at you. Really nice. Um, I do remember having this as a kid, so this is why it's in my collection. I have that one. I also have the Scorpion Venom with the Scorpion Sail. Uh, got this a few years back. Like a few years back. when I think when it first came out. It's one of my favorite pieces. I love the face. I love the long tongue sculpt on this. The hands. The tail. This is one of my favorite pieces. I really, really, really enjoy this one. The one I will be unboxing for you tomorrow. Will be... None other than you ready? King Black. I will be unboxing this tomorrow. I also just came across this um, through a local friend of mine, local toy seller friend of mine. Kyle, thank you, Kyle, for this piece. Um, if you guys don't already uh, have him as a friend, check out Facebook group called the Collector's Castle. He is an admin, I believe. If he is the um, the creator of the group. Check him out, give him a shout, tell him I sent you. Um, he definitely has what you want and what you need and what you're looking for. I can't wait to open this. Should we open it right now? I think we should open it right now. Nah, let's wait. It'll be for another episode. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the quick video I made. Obviously, the unboxing. Uh, quick recap. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to bore you guys with. Oh, look at this nail and look at that nail. But I really do like these figures. Again, the blue, the pink, and the black. Of course, who doesn't love black and white? Venom. This guy loves black and white Venom. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. Stick around for some more content. Episode 3. Episode 3. Here we go.